Who's your favorite Marvel Comics hero? Mine is Superman. Remember the motto? With great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> Women. <laughs> <laughs> Sensational. Who do you think would win in a three-point contest, Steph Curry or Sabrina? Oh, absolutely Sabrina. I mean, come on, Sabrina. I mean, she just proved it, so I'm going with Sabrina. We love you, Steph, but it doesn't matter. I'm going with Sabrina. You just I saw the performance the she contest. put up. Ooh. I'm going to go with Sabrina. Sabrina. Sabrina proved it. Yeah. I think Sabrina got the mojo. Sabrina. Sabrina. She already Sabrina. beat the record. Yep. What? I mean, uh, what? What? And you got the... view this is for me and this is what I feel most comfortable in this is not an invitation for you to come objectify me or decide that this body is meant for you it's mine she's lying now she's not leaving the house dressed up in full makeup eyelashes hair extensions and tight dresses for themselves they are doing this to get attention from men and naturally compete with other women the craziest thing you've done for love <laughs> hey y'all come look at this I, I paid his his fee, part of his fee. I scammed my mom actually to pay part of his school fee. Wow. <laughs> Mommy, I'm joking. <laughs> Why the fuck you lying? <laughs> Are you guys still together? Are you on God forbid. <laughs> the Holy Ghost fire, I rebuke and reject in the name of Jesus. I cast and pine. I left him in 2022, November. Why? What happened? What happened? Ah, I could not take it any longer. My friends were already tired of the manipulation and everything. I was feeding him. Ha! <laughs> buy him clothes, buy him shoes. I never bought me anything. The only thing he bought me was bedroom slippers. Jesus is... Jesus. Throughout the relationship, we dated for 11 months, by the way. Wow. 11 months. And he bought me only bedroom slippers. I'm angry as I'm saying this. Anyway, I'm going to punish you. This woman is clearly not of her ex. This is because she spent money, energy, attention, time and resources on him. And all she got in return was some bathroom sleepers. Now the vast majority of women don't spend resources and money on men. And if they do, it shows that they cared about that man and had a vested interest in him. Now the only time I've seen women spend money on men is when these men are their sons. Jesus can't save these hoes. Why are you trying? And based on the feedback I'm getting, there are men who've been married 15, 20 years that said they've never heard their wife apologize. I know some men who say, yeah, I'm just started dating someone. She's, she's struggling to apologize. And men saying that they've been married for 20 years. 
So again, I think it's tied to the emotional maturity of that person. It's tied to the toxic shame if that person has... The vast majority of modern women will never take accountability and responsibility for their actions. So gentlemen, don't expect them to say sorry. Women approaching 40 with no kids, no man, never married, and no family goes on a meltdown. Are they unlucky or is it just the society's pressure? I tried to tell y'all. I tried to tell y'all. If I were to take you on a first date, how much would you want me to spend? Less than $120. Why is 120 bucks the max? Because I don't really need anything. I can eat at Cheesecake Factory, Chili's. I can eat anywhere. Like, it's just food. Like, you could go to a taco spot, a food truck, and still have an amazing day. It's an uh, amazing day. It's just about the connection and getting to know the person. The money shouldn't be a thing when you're going out to eat, you know? You could use that for something else and steak um, is not gonna make me fall in love with you or be more interested in you. Absolutely not. That's What's gonna make you fall in love then? The way he acts, the way he treats, if he's opening the door, how he carries himself, how masculine he is, the way he dresses. Is there ever a point in time where a man should come to you about a decision or should he handle it on his own all the time? It depends. I feel like a very masculine man doesn't need my advice because he should know what's right from wrong. We always want to give you guys our point of view because, you know, we have instincts as women. So we, we tend to feel and see things in a different form than you guys, but not 100% like taking ad ad advice from. I think as men, you need to go to your boys or like a role, a role model that you look up to as a man instead of coming to a woman because at the end of the day, a woman is only going to be in your side. Now, I agree with most of what she's saying, but on this side of the internet, you know that you have to properly vet a woman before taking her seriously. And don't listen to what a woman tells you. Watch her actions. Now, she mentioned one thing. Women cannot understand or solve masculine problems. If you want to solve your masculine problems, do so around like-minded men who you trust and are loyal to you. They will give you sound, logical, rational advice and solutions to your masculine problems. The vast majority of modern women can't relate can't solve and don't give a fuck about masculine problems. What's your age? I'm 27. What are the biggest red flags in a 27-year-old guy? Ooh, I actually have a whole list. Let's see it. So I started creating this list when I went on dates. We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. She belongs to the streets.